Hey everybody, uh, sometime back and for whatever reason, I started getting kind of interested in antiques and one of the first things I bought was one of these uh, old oil lanterns and uh, I was just, I, I use it on the back porch, it's kind of cool ambiance. Um, I love that old timey look. This is a, there's a company named Dietz. It's so old and faded. You. I doubt you can see it, but uh, in 1840, a guy by the name of Robert Dietz um, invented these lanterns. I think they used to use whale blubber oil uh, originally, but uh, in any event, uh, I was just cleaning it up because it was all dusty and dirty, and I remembered that um, it took me a little while to figure out how to operate these things, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show you how it's done. Okay, first of all, where do we put the oil in? It's uh, right under this cap right here. We just loosen that. And we take it off. And it helps to have a little funnel to put in there. And then you just uh, get some lamp oil. There's all kinds of lamp oil on Amazon. I'll put a link for some uh, and down in the description if that helps. Uh, but you simply... Put your lamp oil in and you, you want to be, I'm just putting a little bit in just to show you, but uh, you want to be careful not to overfill it. And you take your funnel and then you put your cap back on. Careful not to cross thread it. There we go. The uh, second thing, the globe, and that's what I was doing. One of the things I was doing is cleaning up the globe because it was all dirty. Uh, the way that you get the globe out, and that's what most people don't know how to do, there is a little clip right here. And what you want to do is pull back on that and that raises this ring that holds that globe in place. And then you can pull forward and pull the globe right out, clean it, uh, and then actually while the globe is out, uh, if you buy a lantern and it doesn't have a wick in it or you want to replace the wick, what operates the wick is this little dial right here. It raises and lowers it, right? And when, you, when you're operating it, when it's burning, you want to keep the wick about that level right, right where you see it there. The more you raise it up, the bigger the flame you're going to have, and the more you lower it, uh, the less of a flame. Uh, wicks, by the way, uh, you can get those at your hardware store, or they've got them on Amazon, too. Uh, I had gone to the hardware store and they had, these are three quarter inch wicks, which are too wide for this. This takes a half inch wick. And incidentally, when you turn that little knob, there's a gear in there that grabs a hold of that wick and pulls it down into the tank or raises it up as the case may be. So all you do to install a new wick in my case, I, I just took scissors and trimmed it from three quarters to a half inch. And it was about, I used about, that's probably eight inches, something like that. It just goes down inside the, the tank and uh, just rests down in there and soaks up the oil uh, so that it's available to, to light it when you, when you put the, the lighter to it. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's the wick and put the globe back in. All you're going to do is pull that. This kind of swivels, fit your globe back in, release that. And what that does is secure that ring around the top of the globe. Then, to light the 
lantern, what you do, there is a mechanism right here that raises and lowers the entire thing. So what you do to light it, move this out of the way, but you will uh, raise it, use your lighter, light the wick, lower it, and then that snaps back into place. And here you can see you can raise or lower the wick. I also, every now and then, I'll take, uh, I just happened to use WD-40 this last time, but they're, they're old and rusty, uh, and you can just kind of take a cloth and, and wipe them down, and that helps them to uh, keep them in good shape. But uh, cool ambiance, and uh, I was uh, cleaning mine up. Sitting, it was sitting outside for quite a while, and time to clean it up, and I thought I'd take you for the, for the ride and, and uh, show you how to use these things. Have a great day. Oh, and by the way, to blow it out, raise that. Done. <laughs> Have a great day.